All right, man, so look, I came across this crazy video once again. Now, I haven't even seen the full video. I haven't seen the full video. I seen like the beginning part and dog, uh, this is really disturbing. This is disturbing. It's honestly disturbing. I want y'all thoughts and opinions on this situation. Now, this is drag queens can now be seen in the church. Like what? Drag queens can now be seen in the church. I'm, a, I'm done talking. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? Follow your boy on IG, bro. It's free. It is free 99. The only thing that you get it free, the only thing you get free in life. Follow your boy on IG. Without further ado, man, let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> First of all, it's a new trend. So we're making this a trend now? Oh my. Her name is Britta Filter, and she is the queen of New York! Yeah! Y'all celebrate and clap for the wrong things. Y'all celebrate and clap for things like this, but y'all can't celebrate and clap when Jesus take you out of a situation that you pray for. When, 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 when he, when God protected you from something, you can't clap and celebrate for that, but you can clap and celebrate for this. This right here is unacceptable. This is unacceptable in a church though. This is, bro, this is ridiculous. Like, honestly, I, I felt like we've been living in the end times, but if this ain't even, this is definitely some end time type of material. I mean, we mocking and doing, bro, this is ridiculous. This is, what was the point? What is the point? Now, I'm not even simply, I'm mad that this is happening in church, but I'm more mad at the fact because our kids, the next generation that's coming in after me, okay, I'm Gen Z, but I'm saying like the younger kids, the younger kids, by the time I'm like 30, maybe in my 40s, don't kids gonna be like 18. I'm talking about that type of stuff. Half of these is kids in this church trying to learn about God. They're not trying to learn about the LGBT. They're not trying to learn about no goddamn drag queen. They shouldn't even know what a drag queen is. And y'all preaching and putting this into the to these kids' eyes. Do y'all not realize that kids are young? So anything they hear, see at a young age, they're gonna pick up into their adulthood. <sighs> this is, man. <laughs> Loving creator, holy one, and deep. What the hell is that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm it came out. I'm sorry. Hey, that caught me off guard. That just caught that just caught me off guard. I'm sorry, y'all. I look, it just came out. Okay, I'm sorry. I, it just it caught me off guard. It caught me by it caught me by far. I didn't know what that was. Okay, it scared me. Loving creator, holy one, and diva of the world. May your word shine upon us like glitter under the stage lights. May it pop like a death drop in a crowded, dingy basement. We confess that we have demanded too much from the earth. We confess to, to the sins of racism, sexism, homophobia, transphobia, ableism, fat phobia, American imperialism, and what is you reading from? Well, maybe, maybe I missed something in the Bible. Maybe I missed something. Let, let me get my, maybe I missed something in the Bible. Maybe I'm just tweaking, y'all. I don't know what's going on. I'm lost. I'm lost. I, maybe I'm tweaking. The Holy Bible. I, maybe I'm tripping. I, I don't know. Maybe, you know, I, look, I only been a Christian for a year. I, maybe I missed something in the Bible. Because I'm just trying to figure out where she, she, he, she, whatever you want to be called, where are you reading from? I, I truly don't know because it's not, I know that's not in Proverbs. I know for a fact that's not in Song of Songs. I know that's not in Isaiah, Jeremiah. Okay, I, Ezekiel, I don't know. 
I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know no more. I gave up. In Christian supremacy, we confess that sometimes we forget that all life is connected. We want to make sure that everyone knows that all are welcome here. Pride isn't a place, it's a feeling of being proud. The pride flag represents being proud of who you are. Y'all made a children book? Bro, d I'm, I'm trying not to get, I'm trying not to get fed up right now. I'm kind of, I'm already fed up. I'm just trying not to get too angry. Dude, listen to me, bro. You can teach kids how to respect others. You can teach kids how to accept others without teaching them about things like this. Simple as that. You, this is honest. This is jeez. Oh, let me finish listening to the book. I, I, I'm, let me just finish listening to, to this book. I, I want to make sure that everyone knows that all are welcome here. Pride isn't a place, it's a feeling of being proud. The pride flag represents being proud of who you are. We fly to show pride and support of our LGBTQ friends. Let's start with gay. Someone who's gay is attracted to people who are the same gender as them, like a man who's attracted to a man, or a lady who's attracted to a lady. So y'all teaching these kids, bro. It's a whole group of kids. Why? 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 Why, bro? Why? Why, bro? Dude. Y'all not even teaching these kids how to accept and respect others. Y'all teaching them how to be be this because if a, if a kid is around this type of energy if a kid is around this type of stuff bro everything they hear everything they see they pick up they think this is cool they think this is cool it probably be about 10 percent of the kids is not gonna turn out this way but about 90 percent of the way this generation going guaranteed 90 percent of the kids gonna turn out this way literally the next generation by the time i'm 30 is gonna be nothing but drag queens and the lgbtq because this is what y'all teaching kids i mean like look at this little baby right here this, i can't tell i think that's a boy it's definitely a boy that that boy is not supposed to be listening seeing any of this right now a church is made to preach the word to preach the gospel to gain to bring and to bring and get people closer to jesus christ the the church is not for a uh, drag queen to come in there and, and do all this and do all this and take over the show. Like, no, we supposed to be here for God. We're not here for you, baby. I ain't saying you can't come into church. Hey, you can come into church. You can, I just went to a gospel concert and I seen a gay guy. I'm not going to judge. Hey, I, what, what, what right do I have to judge? But that gay guy didn't go on stage and talking about and preaching about gay things. He didn't go. He didn't do all that. He sat and he enjoyed the concert. I did not see him for the rest of the concert. Simple as that. All this is unacceptable, bro. Y'all made a book. Bro, y'all teaching kids about gay and all that, bro. Th th these kids supposed to be learning about how to read. A how to read. Children books. Like Dr. Seuss. Cat in the hat. I don't know. What's, that's the same thing. I'm tweaking. Look, I need to go back to school. But still, these kids supposed to be learning how to do five times five. Two times two. Gen Z, my generation can't even name three countries. I mean, like, come on, can we at least have the next generation at least be able to name three countries outside the United States of America? <sighs> I am thrilled beyond thrilled to be presenting to you local drag legends.
That's that's that, that that's why church has come to. And this is the reason why a lot of people leave the church because of things like this. If that ever happened in a church that I'm at right now, which I doubt it, I go to uh, Michael Todd. Y'all probably know him online, but if that ever happened, if Michael Todd ever do something like that, I will leave that church in a matter of 5.5 seconds. Why? Because, bro, I'm not finna learn and sit here and watch this type of stuff. Knowing this is against God's will. Knowing this is against God. This is abomination. I'm not, look. You be who you are. That is true. But God didn't make no mistakes when he created you. Simple as that. I don't care what nobody say. He didn't make no mistakes. It's, so, it's something behind your name. It's purpose behind whatever you are. You changing up your gender and want to be drag queens. And not only that, that's not even the worst part. The worst part is y'all teaching this to the younger kids. Y'all teaching this to the younger kids. I'm 19 right now. I'm 19. I'm glad that back in 03, 04, 05, we didn't really learn about none of this stuff. When I was in middle school, we didn't learn about none of this stuff. The reason why I knew about this stuff was because of what happened to me at a younger age by a family member. But I wasn't being taught this in a church. I wasn't being taught this in school. Y'all teaching this in school, churches now? Y'all taking kids to pride parades? Just so you can teach them that oh we supposed to accept everybody for who they are and and be who you be who you uh is destined to be. It's multiple genders. It's more than two genders, bro. Is baby? It's only two genders. Y'all, it's multiple genders. It's this, it's that, bro. You could teach kids so much more than teaching them about this bull crap. Simple as that. I don't, I'm disgusted. This is disturbing. This is disturbing. Father, please save this country. This is this this is disturbing. Please just save America in general. This is this is not this is not cool, bro. At all. Uh anyways, y'all let me know y'all thoughts on the situation down below. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notification. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.